You know, last night on Collision, the Owen Hart 2023 Foundation Tournament, the 2023 Owen Hart Foundation Tournament concluded with Ricky Starks and Willow Nightingale winning the respective tournaments. Now, ever since this tournament began, even last year when it first happened, and our inaugural winners were Adam Cole and Britt Baker, a lot of people were very outspoken about Martha working with AEW. A lot of people felt that Martha was being a hypocrite, that she swore her family or her husband would have nothing to do with wrestling anymore. And yet, here she is working with AEW. You know, some people even say, and it is documented, that her family, her in-laws, her, uh, her kids' in-laws, if you will, aunts and uncles and all that, are trying to tell her, look, you need to put the past, you, well, not to put the past, but you need to basically swallow your anger. You need to basically, you know, move on because it's what Owen would want you to do and basically work with the WWE because they're the bigger platform. Stop harboring this hatred you have for them. And look, they have a right to believe that because they know that WWE is the bigger platform and the WWE has mainly been the home of the hearts outside of WCW, outside of ECW, and outside of Stampede Wrestling. You know, they know that. They realize that. And they're trying to get Mark Arthur to realize that as well. But here's the problem. She doesn't want to acknowledge that, as, even if she knows what they're saying is true, because of the fact, and let me get me some coffee here for a second. Even, even if, okay, what was I? Oh, yeah. She doesn't want to acknowledge that, as, even though she knows it's true, because she holds the WWE and mostly Vince McMahon responsible for what happened to Owen. And that if, if, you know, Vince McMahon was to come out and admit his guilt over what happened to Owen and basically face jail time for basically being an assailant in his death, you know, you know basically being the one ordering him to do the stunt that he did in Kansas City, and WWE coming out publicly and saying, hey, we're responsible for what happened. We shouldn't have done that. You know, we were wrong, da, da, da. Only then, what she sees in her mind, just as it served, there's a good chance maybe she might reconsider because she would have won this long-lasting battle against the WWE over what happened to Owen. But because Vince McMahon has yet to do that, because the WWE has yet to do that, she's not going to ex accept any opportunity to work with them. She'd rather work with an up-and-coming company like AEW to basically celebrate her husband, even though her husband never worked for AEW, you know, never worked for WCW or anything outside of WWE. The only places he's ever worked was for, you know, for a majority of his early career, Japan, which they have footage of, Stampede Wrestling, and for a brief period, WCW in the early, in the early 90s, um, if you will, for a brief stint. But a majority of the rest of his career was WWE. He never worked for anybody else outside of WWE except for those he worked for prior, like I mentioned. And, you know, again, you know, every, I will agree. I will agree that, yes, she should, you know, you know swallow, her, well, not swallow her pride, but basically move on with what's going on because apparently I think Brett and Natalia and all of them have acknowledged that Owen would want her to move on and, and work with WWE and not hold this hatred, you know, you know, I, I admit, you know, she should at least, you know, you know, respect her husband's wishes and say, and say to herself, you know what, Owen would want me to move on and work with them despite what happened and all that and just go and do it. But again, she does not want to do it because she basically, she, you know, she holds them responsible for what happened and you can't blame her. You know, you cannot blame her for holding them responsible for what happened to Owen. You can't. You know, if you watch the Dark Side of the Ring episode on Owen Hart, you would understand why. You would understand why. 
Also, you can't blame her for not wanting to work with them because she doesn't think they would do it for the genuineness of what, you know, of what AEW and Tony Khan are doing it for. She believes they would only do it to basically line their own pockets, if you will, get a percentage of, you know, the, 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 uh, the revenue instead of having it fully donated to the foundation and the charities they represent it. You know, the scholarships and all that. She doesn't believe they would do that because this is WWE and all they care about out is just doing it to, you know, save their own public image or enhance their own public image and not really do it for the genuineness that AEW and Tony Khan are doing it for. Now, of course, there are going to be those that say that Tony Khan and AEW, they're not being genuine either. People will say that AEW and Tony Khan are doing it for the publicity, to get their name out there and everything. You know, to show that, hey, we're willing to, hey, we're doing what WWE can do. Hey, that makes us better, da, da, da. You know, and people have a right to feel that way. People have a right to feel that Martha's being a hypocrite. You know, because she swore she would never involve a family in wrestling, and yet here she is. And people would point out, well, why is she involving herself in wrestling now with this Owen Hart Foundation tournament when she could have, when she swore she would never do it again? Why is she doing it? You know, people would have the suspicions. Like, is she really doing it for the foundation, for the charities and the scholarships, or is she doing it for her own self, her own self-greedy ways? Is she doing it for her own self-greedy image? You know, people would wonder that. People would you know, be curious and suspicious about that. But whatever the case may be, however you feel about this, you cannot blame her for wanting to work with AEW. And you cannot blame her for making sure that the details in the agreement for this tournament to happen was, it's got to honor, it's got to be a true ownership to Owen. It's got to be a true ownership to Owen. And that all the proceeds, merchandise, ticket sales, proceeds from the revenue from the video game, all have to, you know, most, some of it has to go to the Owen Hart Foundation, the charities and scholarships. You know, you you can't you can't blame her, you know, for for want, you know, for wanting to have for, for for wanting to be part of that. You can't blame her. You know, you can't, um, if you will. But again, you can feel the way you want to feel. Because let's be honest. Let's be honest. All right. If it wasn't AEW. Who's to say Impact wouldn't have, if they were on a bigger platform, wouldn't have done it? Who's to say MLW, if they were on a bigger platform, wouldn't have done it? Kind of see what I'm saying? Anybody outside of, outside of AEW and WWE, if they were on an equal size platform, they would have done the same thing. And everybody knows it. And she would have went along with it. Why? Because it's not WWE, and at least they're being genuine in what they're presenting as a tribute to her husband. But again, you can feel the way you want to feel. You can feel that there's something suspicious about it. Like why now all of a sudden, you know, is she, you know, allowing this to happen and all that? Is she actually doing it for the foundation scholarship or is she just doing it for her own self greedy image? You know, is Tony Khan and AEW being genuine, you know, and putting it together and all that? to help support the foundation, or are they just doing it for their own self-image? It's like, you can have your, you know, your thoughts, you can have your reasonings and all that, and I don't blame you. I really don't. I really don't blame you for feeling one way or another. I don't really blame you. And that is a fact, I don't blame you. But the point, but the fact of the matter is this. The fact of the matter is this. Martha whether she's doing it for herself, whether she's genuine and doing it for the foundation and all that, Martha does not want to do, want to have anything to do with WWE unless they take true, full-on responsibility in her mind for what happened to her husband. That, that is about it. They will not want to have anything to do with WWE whatsoever. You know, just, you know that being Martha and her family, until they take responsibility for what happened to Owen. And that's about it. That's a fact. That's the truth. You know, you know that as well as I do. I mean, let, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. We all know that she was pissed off at the fact that WWE, at the behest of the Hart Foundation, in conjunction with the Hart Foundation, put out that Best of Owen Hart 3 
three disc DVD, which I happen to own a copy of, but they put that out out without her consent. But they did it on the behalf in a conjunction in the consent of the Hart family. That's what I mean. You want to see? You want to? You want to know how pissed off she could get or mad she can get? She got upset about that because it's like you didn't get my consent. You didn't talk to me. You're the ones responsible for his death. You shouldn't be using your money or your profit to glorify it. But yet, it was it was a it was a project, you know, put together by both the WWE and the Hart family. You know, it's like, you know, it's like you know, you, you want to see her get mad or upset or have more of a reason to disdain WWE. That's one of them. That is one of them. Because in her mind, they should have came to her first and not, you know, Owen's, bio, Owen's blood biological family. But they didn't. And you, again, you want to see how mad or how far apart she would be with WWE and trying to put something together? There's your reasoning. That would be a legit reasoning. Even when they put Owen in a game as a DLC character, and this did happen, believe it or not, you know, even when they put Owen in as a DLC character, Guess what? That upset her too. You see, she wants nothing to do with wrestling as far as WWE is concerned. Anybody outside of WWE that wants to celebrate her husband, you know, and what he contributed to the business and all that from a genuine perspective, she has no problem with. But she doesn't look at WWE as being that way. And those two exa those several examples I just mentioned are in her mind, you know, just, you know, visual aids in that being the truth. But from what I understand, I think some of the profits from the Owen Hart DVD that WWE put out did go to the foundation. I think it did. Now, I could be wrong, but I did hear something like that from, you know, from somewhere. I'm not really sure. But I think it did happen. And some people will point that out because other people have heard it too. They will point that out. But that's, and when they point that out, they will say, well, she's not talking about that. You know, she's not bringing that up. Why not? Again, it's all about her disdain for the company for what happened to her husband. And the only way she might even, cons may even consider, you know, might even consider or even, you know, you know, kind of play with the idea of working with them is only if Vince McMahon, you know, takes responsibility, comes out and admits he's the reason Owen died, gets put in jail, and everything for it, and WWE comes out on a public platform and says, hey, we were wrong for what we did to Owen Hart, we shouldn't have forced him to do it, we take responsibility, and everything, and Martha, you, know, you are in the right to disdain us, and all that, whatever. Basically, she wants a huge public apology, and basically admittance of what happened, and then only then, in my opinion, would she consider working with them. That's just my opinion. I mean, even after that, she may not consider working with them. Who knows? But for anybody that wonders, well, why is she working with AEW in honoring Owen when he never worked for them, and they weren't even around when he was alive? Because, again, they're not WWE. They're not WWE. And, honestly, they're being more genuine for the time being in honoring his legacy. That's why. But... Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. How do you feel about Martha working for a working with AEW instead of WWE on this? How do you feel overall? Give me your thoughts. Love to hear from each and every one of you on this. And until then, I am out.